Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my week 54 update of my fitness journey and working out. So like normal, I'm just gonna share it with you what I did this week, as well as give you some updates and kind of just chat with you. And then we'll get into the progress photos. So week 54 was a really good week. Um, I started off on Sunday because I choose to not work out on Saturday. It's just one of those things where I used to work out on Saturday and now I don't. So I am currently doing the Chloe Ting 2021 plan. I'm also adding a little bit of Pamela Reef stuff in there. So on Sunday, I did the 10 minute hit workout. That is a really intense workout, especially given the fact it's only 10 minutes. And then I did the booty workout the flat abs and the lower abs workout. Honestly, the lower abs workout is not that challenging to me and I don't know, it's just not that fun for me, but I still do it because I wanna do all of Chloe Ting's like workouts the way she kind of like has it laid out just to do it as like a challenge. Then on Monday, I did the upper body workout the tone arms twice, but again, every time that she has us doing tone arms or any exercises twice, I only film it once because I just think it gets repetitive. And honestly, I hate the fact that she has us repeat workouts because I think it's just so boring. I'd rather her just put like another arm workout in there rather than just have us do it twice. So that's just my opinion. Also, I kind of stopped doing the warm up and the cool down because I think it's just kind of wasting my time and I know it's important to like warm up and stuff, but it's just too long, like eight minutes just to warm up. Um, and then I started doing, this is kind of like a side note, but I started doing Pamela Reef's five minute cool down just to like stretch out my body and um, kind of cool myself down, but it doesn't take like 15 minutes to do that. Okay, so on top of the arm workouts, I also did the six pack abs and I also did the Alexis Wren ab challenge as well as Pamela Reef's 12 minute happy sweat dance. And I just like Mondays to be more challenging for myself. So that's why I did some more high intense workouts. I really want to focus on my abs this year. That's like one of my goals and what I want to work on. This week has been great in that department. So I promised myself that I would always do like an ab workout. So that's why I did the Alexis Wren abs. Tuesday, I do not work out because I just work and it's kind of just like my lazy day when it comes to being physically active and everything. Moving on to Wednesday, I did the 15 minute intense hit fat burn. And oh my gosh, that is so hard. Like all of Chloe Ting's workouts that are HIT workouts are very like fast paced, lots of jumping. And it's just one of those things that's really tiring <laughs> to me. And then I did the six pack ab workout. I think this is the one with weights and the one that she includes weights in is very challenging. And I really like that one cause I feel it. Um, so I highly recommend the one that she uses weights for. And then I did the booty workout. I do use resistance distance bands when I can. Um, and then I did the lower abs workout by Chloe Ting. That one's just, again, not as challenging, but it's all right. For the cool down exercise, I did the five minute daily stretch by Pamela Reef. Moving on to Thursday instead of Friday, cause today I didn't work out. I just didn't really want to. I have some stuff that I had to do today. Plus I need to edit this and everything. So I just decided to work out last night. Last night I did the tone arm workout. That one's okay. It's not my favorite. I mean, the upper body ones sometimes I just don't really like doing them but I did the tone arms first and then I did the lower abs workout that one again is all right but it's not my favorite then I did core and arms which I'm sorry that's my least favorite out of all of them I've concluded because I just don't feel anything with that one and then I did the Pamela Reef eight minute Jason Derulo workout I really wanted to get my heart rate up and just like sweat more um, that day so I included that in the workout and I finished up with the 10 minute tone arms because she had us doing that workout twice, which is again, not my favorite. 
favorite. I don't like doing workouts like the same video again because it's just like kind of boring. So that is what I did this week. Now getting into the updates. I feel like this week was such a good week just because I'm focusing on my abs and I'm focusing on not overeating. I think my biggest problem with this whole journey is I can easily overeat, which I'm definitely going to overeat tonight because we are having pizza and you know, sometimes you are allowed a cheat day guys. Come on. This whole week I've been really good with watching my portions and not overeating and not snacking too much. Not that I snack a lot. I just want to be more mindful. So that has been really, really good. And I do feel a difference in my body. So whether or not you can see it in the photos, I definitely feel a lot better and my core is getting stronger. So I guess moving on to the progress photos, Alex on the left is last week and Alex on the right is this week. And then here is the side view of that. Alex on the left is the beginning of year two compared to now, which is on the right. And here is the side view of that. So I know this video was kind of short, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys. And again, this is kind of like a little journal documentary, documentary, that's not a word, just a little journal for myself that lives online. And let me know down below what type of workout programs you are doing, because I am very interested. And if you are, are still keeping up your fitness goals into 2021 um, because I sure am and I'm really happy with already like where I'm going and that's why I'm treating myself tonight so don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye